Hello everyone, my name is Philip Lockhart. I am the CAO of Bahamas Air Virtual and today's video will be teaching you how to convert FS9 aircrafts to FS10. Okay, first what you're going to do is you're going to go to the folder where you saved the aircraft. And um if you don't have WinRAW, I'm going to make a video on that to show you how to get it. When you are uh, finished downloading the folder, you're going to right click and you're going to click extract here. Then you're going to go into the folder you just extracted and you will open the readme and read the information that's inside of the readme. You're going to minimize it, leaving that open. And you're going to make sure that inside the next folder are files. These files are your texture files that you're going to need to repaint the 737-800. You're going to copy that. And then you're going to go into My Computer. C Drive Program Files. Microsoft Games Flight Simulator X Sim Objects Airplane B737 underscore 800 Then you're going to right click again and click paste You would see this texture.bahamas to make sure that's the right thing you're going to double click it and you'll see your texture files next what you're going to do is you're going to see a file in that folder that says aircraft you're going to double click on that now if that file doesn't open up like this it would open up like this. If it does, what you're going to do is you're going to click select a program for a list of installed program. Click that. Click OK. Then this will pop up and you can either choose Microsoft Office Word or you can choose Notepad or WordPad, any which one. I recommend you use Notepad. After you select that, then you click OK. And then you will double click on the aircraft file and it will open up like this. The next thing you do, by default, you would have um, six textures starting from zero into this aircraft file. The first one will be zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After the 6 one, you're going to make a space in between two spaces by pressing Shift Enter. And then you're going to go to the second space. You're going to reopen that README file that you had. And you're going to copy and paste the information starting from flight sim.5 right click click copy minimize that and go back into your aircraft folder file sorry and then you're going to right click the second space and click paste now remember when we use counting you stop that 6 so right here where you see flight sim.5 you're going to change that to 7 After you're done, you can click File and click Save. And then close it. And then you're done. You should have a working 737-800 Bahamas Air Paint. Next, I'm going to show you how to convert the FS9 737-200 
to work in FFX. You can download it from the BahamasAirVirtual.co.nr website. Open it up, extract it, save it to your aircraft folder. Go into the folder and click panel. Whatever panel file you see in there, you can um, select all and click delete. You can come out of that and then you're going to go into your 737-800 folder and you're going to double click on panel you're going to select all of the files in there right click click copy go back into your 737-200 folder go back into the panel folder right click click paste and that's all you have to do um, if that doesn't work then you're going to have to go into the sounds and add the 737-800 sound and then you'll have a working 737-200 another thing I want to show you is um, the A330-300 series um, I don't think that comes with a panel so what you're gonna have to do is when you download it from the website save it to a folder or your desktop extract it and after it's done extracting open it up and okay that's everything in there so you can um, right click click cut or copy and then you know the usual go into computer the C drive program files Microsoft Games, Flight Simulator X, Sim Objects, Aircraft, and then you're gonna right click in a space on the in the aircraft folder, click paste. Um, the A330-300 won't come with a panel. The panel folder will be blank. So what you're gonna do is. Um, for FSX, you're going to have um, an Airbus A320 installed that comes with the game. You can um, just simply go into um, your A321 folder, right click on panel, click copy, go back to your A330-300 folder, right click, click paste. Now this is going to come up. Um, what you want to do is you're going to click yes you can also save the sound by going to your Airbus A321 right click on the sound folder click copy go back A330 right click click paste click yes and that's it that's it you should have a working um, A330-300 on your flight simulator X